Hello, I'm Pav. I'm head of infrastructure here at Custodian Data Centers, and I'll show you the air handling unit today and explain why it is a one of the greenest data centers in the UK. Okay, I'll probably start from the room where the humidification and air chilling occurs. It's, it's quite dark there, but I'll try to show you. Okay, I just asked one of my colleagues to run it for us because uh, it's not too hot outside and it's not too dry outside. So we will introduce a cooling manual override so I can show it to you. temperature outside is lower than we need to supply to the equipment uh, because when the temperature outside reaches say 10 degrees, 5 degrees, 0 degrees we cannot feed that air straight into the equipment that's why we need to back mix some of the hot air which is produced by the actual surplus back into the supplier then by mixing different quantities of air we can target the exact supply temperature and it just works. <coughs> so this unit produces a high pressure fog at 70 bar. So it's a pressure which equals 70 times the atmospheric pressure of the ambient air around us. So it's, it's quite a serious piece of cake. And it produces very, very fine mist which evaporates immediately once it hits the air. And this is very efficient because uh, normally if you Google uh, adiabatic cooling or evaporative cooling, you would find lots of pictures where air is tra traveling through a material which is uh, where cells. So that material acts as a pressure reducer and it creates uh, back pressure, so the efficiency actually drops. 
we didn't go that route because we wanted maximum efficiency. That's why we evaporate the water straight into the air without any materials that can uh, create obstacles to the air passing it. This is how we actually achieve the efficiency of our data center. One interesting point, uh, I already mentioned that this is the cube and the pressurized air goes into it and from it it goes into the pots. However, the air that went into the pots has to return. So where is it going? Actually, if you look down, downwards, we are standing on the level where the return air is being collected to. So if you feel this, you can probably feel that it's warm because that is the exhaust air from the service. It's like 30, 40 degrees. And if you measure the temperature of the ground, of the floor, you will feel that it's like 30 degrees warm. So the air gets collected under the floor in the bed and then goes fast, taken out from the roof or back into the mixing area. That's the mixing duct, and that is the duct that goes to the roof. Okay, welcome to my world. You're now on the top of the cube where the pressurized air lives. So in that cube, the area below us, there's a prepared air with the target temperature, target humidity, ready to be pushed down into the box. As you can see, it's, it's, the size is quite impressive, isn't it? It's, it's really big. On the other side, it's the same mirrored uh, layout. Duct, compression unit, behind the wall is evaporation chamber, and the same on the other side. So we have four units feeding the same cube. In case one fails, we're happy to go. Because the system is resilient, any unit can fail at any time. And the others will take it over. Okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed this walk around with me and uh, keep following us, join our YouTube channel, stay with us and we'll film more videos for you.